channels again folks my name is Tsanza welcome back this is another episode of my Ron Santo Road to the Show and uh, I taught you guys his advice uh, on the previous video where I did ask what kind of uh, system you'd like to see if you'd like to see me um, get Ron to the majors quicker kind of in shorter episodes and the kind of general consensus was you know go ahead skip a few games don't show as many don't post any less consistently just don't show say like five games against the Blue Wahoos five games against this and then you know a couple of each maybe at most so that is the new system I'm going to adapt so this is a couple of series later or just the one series actually I think at this point because I might have recorded this series but we are against the Mississippi Braves and we are away from home and straight away Ronnie's going to get a base hit there going to split the shortstop and third baseman so right off the bat Ron not doing too bad at least he's off the slump like he was before and um yeah, this is much better from Ron recently. He's been hitting a lot better. The I had a series against the Blue Wahoos, which was a four, it was a four or a five game, and we did a lot better. Anyway, with only one out, I'm going to get Ron to steal, of course, getting a good lead, a good speed in there, and apparently that's out. That one didn't look out to me, folks. I'm perfectly honest with you. We will see the replay. That one really didn't look out with such a great lead and not bad speed. I'd have thought Ron would have made it in there easily. Obviously, a good throw by the catcher. But stupidly, Ron forgot to extend his arm like you normally do when diving headfirst into a base. So he would have made it had he remembered to outstretch his arms. Anyway, so that means Ron is out and that will end the inning. And now we will go ahead. I didn't catch what inning it was. Damn. To the top of the fourth, there is no outs and there is the bases loaded here for Ron. Fantastic time to break the deadlock. Obviously, after hitting well. Not making good contact on that curveball, and that is going to be a double play. Not good at all. No, was it a triple play? No, it can't have been. Anyway, up two to nothing, though. The Tennessee Smokies go, and then the next time I simulate through the rounds, turns out we're down five to two. So obviously, Ron got a lot to uh, a lot to do here, considering he's one of the hot prospects for this team one of the games that I didn't show the kind of interviewed him sort of thing before the game because he is classed as a hot prospect so there you go he could be getting into the major soon but going to make good contact on that fast ball and that is going to go straight down the middle for another single for Ron not really doing too much but still kind of getting those base hits kind of threatening the pitcher obviously putting pressure on the rest of the team especially the infielders but overall not really causing too much damage there's one out so this time I'm going to try and steal again going to try and stretch the lead a little bit further this time but the pitcher obviously not going to be fooled by that sliding back into first this time he actually sticks his arm out and he does make it still going to try and stretch that lead because I really need to get into scoring position so we can get back in this game get him back in time again but we really need to cut that deficit down we are down by three and we have a chance to get a one run deficit obviously I'm not going to be able to steal with Ron and he does pick it off but an error by the first baseman not throwing it correctly over to second means that Ron will get to second this time an error on the first baseman's part and then like the shortstop not throwing it to the second baseman probably possibly could have gone to third but Ron isn't fast enough obviously he's more of a power hitter but with a right-handed batter up at the plate, I'm going to try and steal to get over to third at some point. But I don't even need to steal because the catcher makes an error. Not catching the ball properly from the pitcher. And I'm going to slide into third. So really, big, big pressure on the Braves here. Mississippi Braves, obviously a very good side. Still only one out here. Not letting me leave the base this time. Cannot stretch the lead at all. Trying to hope for another error from the catcher, but I don't think that's going to happen big chance for the bit for the batter here I can't remember who it was I believe it might have been Brian no Bogusevic's a left-hander I can't remember who bats after Ron <laughs> feels like a while since I've played um, road to the show until today because I've bit I spent more time recording franchise mode so I've got a couple of episodes ready to edit anyway Ron is gonna slide in there it is gonna result in and out anyway so two outs for the Smokies here but at least the, re the deficit is cut to two and a chance for the rest of the team to really step up here but simulating through the rounds and it turns out we're down eight to three top of the eighth so it looks like we're not going to win this one it looks like it's pretty much already wrapped up there is already two outs Ron I can't see doing too much here especially with not getting the great at bats at the moment but making good contact on that high fastball 
right fielder tracking back and grabbing that one easily and that is pretty much going to be the end of this video if you enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more baseball content and black ops please check out my fifa video which i'll link in the description below if you didn't watch it yesterday follow me on twitter please because twitter is something i'm really trying to uh, push for and tweet i'm tweeting a lot more at the moment on it as always though, thanks for watching guys, I love you all and I'll see you in my next video, goodbye.